Hey everybody, Jake over at Markham Technologies. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to update your firmware on your LX6, 6S, your LX7, or your LX9. So the first thing that you're going to need to do is hop onto our website at www.markhamtech.com. You're going to need to be on a PC as the update will not work with a Mac. So taking a look at our home page, you're going to find the firmware updates under the support tab in the top right hand corner. So you just hover over that support tab and hover over firmware updates and click on that. And that's going to bring you to our firmware updates page. I have an LX7 that I'm going to need to update. So that's going to be my first one right here. I'm going to click on that. And that's going to bring you to the step-by-step -step process on how to update your LX7. Uh, first thing here, it's going to let you know what the requirements are, PC only, and you're going to need a USB port on your computer along with a USB 2.0 cable. A USB A male to a USB mini B. You can find those directly off of our website as well under the replacement parts button off our homepage. So moving forward, we're going to go to step one, and it's going to ask you to save the LX-7 main.bin file, which can be found at the bottom of the page. So I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of the page, and under my attachments, you're going to see LX-7-main bin. So I'm going to click on that to download it, and it's going to ask you to open or save. You would never want to open the bin file as that's going to corrupt the file. You always want to save it on your computer. So I'm going to hit save and it looks like the download is complete. So I'm going to open my folder and you can see it right in here. The next thing that I'm going to want to do is actually move that bin file onto my desktop. That makes it extremely easy to drag and drop that into your LX7 when the time comes. So then I'm going to go back into the firmware update and I'm going to move on to step number two. So it's going to have you uh, plug in your USB cord to your computer and then it's going to keep you walking you through step by step on what to do. There's some pictures on where to find that USB port on the back of your LX6 or your LX7. And it's going to have you drag that into the folder once you connect that LX7 to your computer. And it's just going to simply walk you through the step-by-step -step process. If you do have any more questions, you can certainly submit a question off of our support site, or you can live chat with us as well. If you have any more questions, visit Markham Tech dot com.